Renaud, thanks very much for, for joining us today from Paris. How do you see the implications of the current crisis in France, looking particularly at commercial real estate? Uh, I think the implications are, are vast, of course. Uh, short term, we are seeing a downsizing of the uh, in transaction volume. We are seeing a slowdown, major slowdown of uh, take up. We are seeing a lot of uncertainty. But the implications, I think, are that uh, you are seeing tremendous change and uncertainty, which is creating a lot of dynamism in the end. And it, it may sound a bit contrarian to what we are experiencing every day and what we are hearing from the media. But in the end, this crisis here is forcing us to rethink about our own lives, personal and professional, and the way we work, the way we interact with people, uh, the way we are going to be building or redesigning uh, real estate, whether it's office, resi, commercial centers, logistics, uh, yeah, student houses. So the implications are, are vast. And in my view, despite the frustration which we, uh, we are all experiencing, I think it's important we focus on the positive side of it uh, at the moment. On the uh, real estate side, people should also take perspective. Before the crisis, investment volume in real estate was last year was about 45 billion in France. Germany was double that and the uh, UK was four times that. Now, the expectation is that we're going to be at 25 billion, which is a bit less than 40% of what was done last year. But the average size of investment volume of the French market was around 20 billion anyway. So it's like, in fact, despite COVID, we are back to where we were at the beginning of the century. And that should be enough to give some level of comfort. Rental values are going to come down for sure. We're already seeing it. But as long as cap rates and yields on government bonds remain where they are, and there is a huge element of risk there, but so as long as we are in that situation, real estate is going to remain attractive and still is attractive because the spread, as we know, I mean, at, at least in France, uh, between prime office cap rates and 10-year government bonds, I mean, it's more than 300 basis points. So at the moment, it's still a good time still to buy. You want to focus on quality and be obviously be extra careful and look at the asset classes very carefully and the fundamentals, given what we are going through. But net net, I think it's it's still quite exciting. I guess what does that mean overall for for um, for real estate financing, right now? It means I think you are going to see a greater differentiation between the traditional balance sheet senior lenders who are going to be focused on core type of assets, and you are going to see so people like ourselves, German senior lender, balance sheet lender increasingly interested in syndication. So you're going to see all these, these guys very focused on key clients, core clients, core assets. Because of the crisis, there are going to be opportunities from real estate stories, which are where in the French or in exciting places uh, pre-COVID, but which now uh, the crisis has, has crystallized the issues. And they are becoming buy opportunities for opportunity funds, for example. The struggle for those guys will be that they are, they are not going to find debt easily. That's going to drive prices and value down. And net net, I think that's the entry door for the debt funds or even uh, debt funds of the private equity houses. Not necessarily uh, insurers because insurers are actually looking for yields. And this type of deals do not, in my experience, uh, fit to that. But so you are indeed going to see a, a, a real segmentation. And the issue for guys like us is that there's going to be more and more competition because the size of the pie is getting smaller and everyone will want a piece of it. And meanwhile, because the central banks still have these liquidity programs in place, the interest rates uh, and the return options for us are going to be uh, lesser. There was a peak of opportunities which we seized uh, in the uh, second and third quarter of this year. We were able to do very exciting transactions for very core cool clients of ours. But we are seeing that already spreads are getting squeezed again. You mentioned there that um, that there's going to be more competition, Renault. So I guess where where should we expect to see Hellebore Active um, in France? Short term, uh, you're going to see us very active as we already are in office core logistics and increasingly in resi. 
we are not going to be financing developments. I mean, we have a book of about 3 billion and only 9% of it is into developments and speculative developments. So we're not going to be doing that. So, but we're going to focus like, in fact, I think a good example of is the last two deals, uh, which we did uh, over the summer, where we finance to Altais, which is a 28,000 square meter prime tower east of Paris, extremely well located, fully let at 50% loan to value uh, with a wall quite secured. So we would love to replicate this type of transactions, great client as well. Um, and we also are selectively looking at very well located opportunities, quality assets, which may have a bit of a leasing risk in it, like the, the one we did for Primonial, which is another 28,000 square meter office. It's a sell lease back with ABN Amro, and ABN Amro has an option to uh, vacate the building in the near term, which creates some risk to us as a lender in terms of servicing the, the debt. Obviously, it's also an opportunity for us and most importantly for, for the client, because that's why it's going to improve the quality of the asset and relate it. Of course, the crisis is forcing companies uh, to rethink the design of the usage of their office space. But net net, this space will, will well, you shouldn't say always, but it's very most likely to be, to be leased. So we should be able to get our debt serviced and eventually uh, get that back, which is ultimately what any lender, including Helaba, wants. He wants to be paid back at one point in time. Thanks very much. Um, really interesting to catch up, particularly on the, on the French market and the financing market. Thanks very much, Renaud. Thank you very much.